I'm gonna lunge up the inside, see if I can get a place. What's going on guys? Welcome back to F1. Today we are on one of my favorite tracks in the, or on the F1 calendar. This is Circuit of the Americas. We are heading to Austin, Texas today for, we're, we're getting really close to the end of the season. It's crazy. F1 2017 is right around the corner. Personally, I cannot freaking wait. Um, so if you are excited for that game, make sure you stay tuned. Because, oh my god, I'm going to be doing so much cool stuff in that. Oh, Circuit of the Americas, how I love thee. Such a good track. Such, such a good track. All right. Um, so before we get into anything, let's check out the weather for the race and practice and things like that. Uh, so for practice, we're good. Qualifying, we are good. And the race, we are also good. I mean, unless things change, obviously. I mean, it can happen. But it looks like it's going to be dry for the entire time, which is awesome. So yeah, Circuit of the Americas, you probably saw a video featuring this track not too long ago. Um, this past Friday, if you did miss it, we did the first AR-12 Racing Championship race on this very track with some of Forza's fastest drivers, and oh my god, it was absolutely incredible. The video is up. If you'd like to check it out, Race 2 signups are also open if you guys would like to check those out and be a part of the series in the future. Also, you can pick up these really, really cool jerseys. I don't know how many of you guys have known that, but um, they're in the store now and you guys can check them out. Seriously, very, very cool things. And there's only a handful of them, I would say. So um, if you are interested in one, uh, get one. They were sort of like a test thing. I've never done jerseys before. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of them. Anyway, shit. Anyways, what I was gonna say is we just need to nestle down and sort of get back into F1. I was away on vacation last week, for those of you who didn't know, and because of that, I obviously I haven't played F1 in a little while, so we sort of do need to get back into the groove of everything so we can start nailing in some very, very good lap times, and basically just getting into F1 again is a good thing. We should also probably go and download a tune for the dry, since because everything, well, at least for now, is all on the dry circuit, so we should be all okay to go and get one, hopefully. Okay, I'm just running wide on every goddamn corner. I don't- I, I feel like I've not, not been this bad in F1 for a really, really long time. In my defense, this is a very tricky track, but as it's one of my personal favorites, I think I should be a little bit better than I currently am right now. Anyways, I need 580 points. I did 450 something, so like, I, we should be able to do that no problem. Like, we shouldn't have a problem going around a lot of these corners without braking. Ooh, unless the back of the car completely steps out and we miss that one again. Same one as last time. Come on, little Williams. Okay, around that corner. It's very, very tricky. That really long right hand. Again! Oh, for God's sake! At least we improved a lot there, but I didn't really want to leave this to the third lap. God damn, that's not cool. 515 points there. We have a lot of room for improvement. All right, we need to bang in all of the purples right now. And no reds, please. Please don't miss any of the points. I will. I would rather go slow and steady, get greens, than miss points. I think that was our troublesome one, so we've got that now. All right, just slow and steady. Slow and steady is okay. We're in practice. Oh, look at all the purples rolling in. Hell yes. Big, big improvement on this third lap. I just don't want to cock it up now. I went too slow through the stupid point. This is a disaster. Absolute disaster. Again, last week was a disaster with some slight cheating in case you missed that. I may, I'll, I'll, I'll tease it as if you missed the video. Um, I gave Hamilton a, I guess, uh, a bump. We nudged him. We pulled a Vettel. There you go. Well, sadly, I'm not going to be able to do it because, boy, I'm a Muppet and not I'm not good at F1. But we will go... Uh, I'm going to get a tune and then we can go and do that. All right, so we got a new tune for the car. Hopefully it goes well. Let's try to do a qualifying pace. We're going to be on the Super Softs. I didn't actually see what our time to beat was or what our lap times were before, but anyways, we should be okay to basically fly around the circuit as fast as possible. All right, so yeah, I don't know what my time to beat is, but hopefully we'll be okay. We'll see. I mean, we're already green. I love my engine. Seriously, when we play F1 2017, engine, big priority. All right, this is not going to be fun. Could you, could you, thank you. 
Wasn't as hard as I thought to get around him. We do need to settle down though and start putting in some actually good lap times because right now I feel like the car is not happy. It's not settled. It's not... I'm just doing things like that, which is just dumb. It's like our acceleration out of these corners is hella fast. It's just... I don't like these big, long, sweeping corners, which Coda is obviously famous for, like this one. I find him just, like, not good at it. I gotta get off the power a little bit, or else things just start to get very, very messy very quickly. But, if I'm able to control it like that for the race, I'll be okay with that. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Oh, I went red right at the end! 141.9 is my time to beat. I feel like I can definitely get that. Providing I have some good exits of corners, I feel like that is definitely doable. I'm a second red! What have I done this lap? That's not... shit. Alright, lap three, here we come. Alright, lap three. Can we do a bit better, please? Because that was not good. Alright, I'm green. Here we go. I gotta push and I gotta focus so hard. Or I'm done. Alright, that was pretty quick. That was really quick, actually. Car's not happy, car is not in control. Oh, there we go, up to point three. Nearly up to point four, there's point four. Hell freaking yes. This is going much better. Oh, that was a late break. That has screwed me. That was a, like a meter too late, and that did not go well. Focus around here, I was going flat, not anymore. Okay, I can definitely get away with going a little bit flat through. Maybe the beginning of that corner only? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, keep me green. Keep keep me green. Give me something from this practice. <sighs> that was hard. Off to qualify and we go. Joining the track right at this tricky right-hander. Very nice game, thanks a lot. All right, so I can leave it flat through here and then lift at the end and then go flat again. I think that's probably going to be the fastest way for me around that corner. Let's try it. We do have someone all the way up here. I don't know who it is. I feel like I definitely don't need to break around there. I just need to lift. All right. Well, that's the definition of really shit for the first lap. So I don't even know if I should bother driving super fast or keep going. And we'll just do two laps and leave it at that. Oh my God. Verstappen at a 138.7. That's insane. All right. Well, I went uh, 141.1, which uh, I'm going to say that was a bad lap. All right. That first one was okay. Second one was okay. I'm just going to lift for that one. Get on the brakes for that one. Get on the brakes hard there. There we go. I think that's much quicker. I braked in a straight line there. That's going to be in second green. Hell yes. Get on the brakes early. Slow in, fast out. That was not that. Pay no attention to that. 1.2 seconds green and a 139. Hell. That's still seventh place. All right. Return to garage. I guess we should just leave it there because our tires are already dead. If we drop down into the into the bottom 10, okay, we're in the bottom 10. We can play around with our strategy. If we start 10th, actually, that is actually going to be perfect because I'm going to have some fun with our pit strategy. So here's the thing. What if we do the strategy that the AI sometimes do? Wait, do I have to start 11th? That's not cool. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're using the main strategy. Actually, you know what? We'll click this one. We'll see if our rain strategy works in the dry. We'll select a two pit stop strategy. We'll see if people like Hamilton take two pit stops, um, but we know we're gonna come on a lap four. I was really hoping to try a new strategy out for today. Anyways, let's get it going. This corner one is gonna be a big place for overtaking. I'm gonna lunge up the inside, see if I can get a place. I didn't do shit except for overtake people illegally. The Mercedes are just like, F this. Catalonia callback, and then I think that's Rosberg who's completely spun, and then I'm just like, wee! <laughs> and then someone's actually crashed into the back of, I think that's Hamilton, and he loses a part of his front wing. And then everyone here is just like, oh. So all I have to do is give back positions uh, to one and two. Well, that's not a bad start for me, managing to avoid any accidents. Can you guys come and pass me? We're stopping. Safety car deployed. Okay, come and pass me. Pass me. You have five seconds. Thank you. Well, I've made up a place under the safety car again. Well, that's good. All right. It's lean revs we go. What is my tire wear currently looking like? So my tires are worn 14%, 14%, 14%. Okay. So that's not terrible. And if we get a couple laps under the safety car, we might be okay to keep those tire wears as 
basically exactly where we want them. Thank you, Verstappen, for stomping on the brakes. Also, I have a feeling that Red Bull's not going to give me a contract considering they have currently driver number one and driver number two. Catch your goddamn teammate up! I'm trying to conserve my tires so much, though. It's like... Because if I can do a couple extra laps on these tires, that would be awesome. Whoa, Raikkonen is going into the pits. Is he going to go for a one-stop strategy? He may have just won the race. Close the gap to your teammate. Thank you. Finally. We're finally next to Ricardo. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that Kimi may have gone into the pits, changed his tires. He may very well win this Grand Prix. Because he's basically had a free pit stop if he's done that. He'll be, he will be in last place, but every single other person on the track is going to need to pit. Now I have to ask myself the question, do I go in pit? I would go on the mediums, probably. Yeah, I would need to go on the mediums right now. But it would be like not taking a pit stop. So, you know what? Big risk, big reward. We are going on the medium compound tires. They are going to continue out for another lap. So technically, I've done my pit stop. Actually, if I can get some people before the safety car, thank you. Oh, Kivya, all right, take your spot back. If I can keep my tire wear down, so I'll make these tires last 10 laps, I think we very well might have won this race. If the safety car actually continues to stay out, it's actually going to be bad for me. Because then I should have gone on the softs instead of uh, this medium. Oh, safety car is going in this lap. All right, let's get some heat in the brakes. All right, heat in the tires. And we are going to basically, I think, probably be able to run this entire race now in rich revs. Green flag, green flag, green flag. People are already going into the pits. We're going to dive bomb Kvyat. Got him. All right. And we are passing people in the pits. That's going to be Grosjean. That is going to- actually, we've already passed it. Never mind, Grosjean's in front. I'm not paying attention to who's around. I am in 11th place already, though, but I am on the shitty tires. Oh my god, I may have done good, boys. Oh, get Grosjean, get Grosjean up the hill. Grosjean up the hill, Grosjean bumps me. I'm having to slide around the corner. I didn't get any damage from that. I believe he might have, actually. He just came and smashed right into the side of me. That was really not cool. All right, that I took down a bit. And we're going to get DRS fairly soon, but our big engine should help. Oh, I am so excited to see what happens with these pit stop. It's going to be crazy. All right, so we've got a bit of a slow train going on up here. I, how the hell is Harriento in seventh place? Hulkenberg, that was ooh, nearly past him on the, on the grass. That would not have been good. I believe that was Jensen Button we've gone past as well now. Oh my god, this is huge. Oh, and we've gone past Tariento up into seventh place now. We are just walking past people. This is crazy. Our Williams is unbelievable. And there goes Magnuson into the pits. Teammate is in the pits. And I believe this is when my brilliant move starts to shine. I am up into third place already. Both guys in front of me still need to pit. If I didn't see Kimi go in, I would not have gone in myself. Anyways, Mr. Perez and Rosberg now are both into the pits. For sure, they're going to be getting on the soft compound tires, I would imagine. Instead, yeah, Rosberg I see there is on the soft compound tires instead of the medium. So obviously, I'm going to be a little bit slower than him. But I am leading this race now with quite a gap. Oh, Kimi. Kimi did in fact change his tires when he went into the pits. So it is going to be a battle of the early pit stops here. Oh shit, and Nico is coming as well. So I have a five second lead. We are 50% of the way through this race now. All right, I seriously though, just gotta relax and just chill and start putting in some good lap times because my last couple of laps have been so sloppy, it's not even funny. I feel like Kimmy's definitely catching just because of how bad my last couple laps have been. Wow, they are setting quick, quick laps now at a 140.2. My fastest lap so far has been a 142. Like, of course, yeah, they're on the soft tires, but two seconds, a lap for soft tires? I really hope that's not the case because I think I'm gonna be overtaken. Holy shit, that's not good. So we are gonna need to make our Williams as wide as possible, down to a 2.9 second gap. We might drop a place to Ricardo, even with my brilliant strategy. Oh my god, he's right there. This race is not over yet. He's gonna be getting DRS behind me very, very soon. And in my defense, he doesn't need it! And look at- <gasps> Oh my god! Danny Rick's engine blew up. Oh my god. I oh I need to have a moment. Oh <laughs> Wow. Wow. 
Wow! Oh. <laughs> so he's just driving along. He's right behind me. And then he's like, yes, yes, I'm gonna get him. And then all of a sudden, bang, his engine blows. Well, no more need to worry about him. Wow, I've never had something happen like that in a video game ever. F1 2016, best moment ever. By far, without a doubt, that has to win it. All right, so let's see what the spread is now between myself, Raikkonen, and Rosberg. He's a 2.3 second gap and Rosberg is a 1.4 second gap behind him. So I probably got, say, three more laps of no worries and that should put me number one spot if I can survive three more laps of this circuit. My tires don't feel as tight as they used to be. They feel like they're sliding out a little bit more than they did before 25% tire wear. Uh, Raikkonen, we, just for these two last laps of this race, we are teammates, okay? Please make your car as wide as possible. He did not get him on the straight. Hamilton got Rosberg. So Hamilton is also getting in on the mix now and going to be slowing his teammate down even more. Oh my God, look at them right behind. That is not a 1.5 second gap anymore. We are four guys right on each other. We are all gonna, or well, they all are gonna be getting DRS. All right, Raikkonen, please continue to hold them up. You have done a fantastic job at it so far. I'm a 0.5 second gap away from him and I've run wide. I've managed to hold my first position. I got a little distracted. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. We got one lap left, no need to get distracted. Final lap of Circuit of the Americas. Come on, big boy engine, you have to pull very, very hard right now. Raikkonen is still doing a fantastic job of holding those guys up. Raikkonen, you deserve that second spot on the podium right there. Actually, you know what? You deserve the first spot. I'm not gonna give it to you, but in your heart, you deserve this one, buddy. Wow, look at this. Look at this. There's our big engine out the corner. We just got monster acceleration. They are gonna have a higher top speed because of their DRS. Yep, they are definitely closing. I'm shooting sparks out the back. Would it be over the top to say the best Formula One race ever? What a series of events. Everything from that corner one safety car to Ricardo blowing up his engine. I can't even speak. Holy crap. That has to be the best F1 race ever. That was one of the biggest risks I've ever taken in this game. Somehow it paid off. Wow. Wow. Me first, Kimi second, Hamilton, Rosberg, Verstappen, and then Bottas. Wow, the McLarens actually dropped off the pace like crazy. Did anyone do two pit stops? Nope, no one did. Only DNF is Ricardo. <laughs> and driver's championships. We're closing in 10 points on Rosberg. It's not like we're going to be able to catch him. I doubt it by the end of the season, but that's pretty awesome. And everything's staying exactly the same way for the constructors. So... Anyways, guys, that was that. I believe we are heading to Mexico next Sunday, so that should be another very, very good race. Again, a track that I know quite well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe down below for more videos like this in your subscription box. Don't forget to check out all the awesome stuff on the store like this, and you can go get yourself an awesome jersey. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday for the Mexican Grand Prix. See you then. Bye!